Once I got back to Avery Point, and in the so-called Forbidden Zone, I felt a sudden change. I felt excited again, interested, ready to film. Actually, did I, did I say over there? I yeah. Meant, I meant like in that corner more. Yeah, yeah, that's much better. Like, all, right, all right, so here? Uh, yeah, something like that. Something like that? What, or what, what about over there? No, oh, that's overall. Just make a big damn Hmm. Well, I don't know. I mean... I'm supposed to come in and taunt you from that angle. I think you're gonna need this. Oh uh, yeah, you have a nerf gun. Oh uh, yeah. Hey, I see that. What, what are you doing? That's the most annoying sound ever. Yeah, we don't need anyone to hear it. Keep it down. Oh what, you think anyone's down here? They don't, they don't even use this place. I, I don't get what the big deal is. I don't know, it was like security measures or some bullshit. <laughs> fuck security. Yeah, really. Fuck security. Fuck the police. Just fuck all of it. Let, let's just fill here. Oh, uh, yeah. Well, I brought the hard drive, but you need it for the seat. Ah, so why is Mr. Crash Yenels after this little puppy? Well, he is and he isn't. It's confusing. See, Crash is working as a double agent with the Russians, and the Russians think that he's actually going to save the, you know, technology from Zack, but he's really planning to just keep it for himself and destroy it before the nuclear technology gets loose. Pretty simple, right? Uh... Yeah, so, uh, if, if, yeah. if you're all set, then let's start recording. Yeah, I'll you go, got that? Uh, I'll, I'll, yeah, I'll go hit record. Oh. What? It, it seems like it was already on and recording. Oh. oh. Uh, Alright. Just some junk. Don't don't worry. I mean, what are they gonna do? Arrest us? It's a free country. I guess. Although it won't be when I'm done. <laughs> oh, indeed. Okay, let's go again. All right. Well, it looks like your hard drive has crashed. Damn it all! You haven't heard the last of me. Come here. I think that's... Oh. Yeah, yeah, come on. Let's go. We should probably get yeah. out of here. I guess the real thrill of it all wasn't so much the movie, but just the aspect of possibly getting in trouble, at least for that particular instance. Part of me almost wanted to see the look on Kira's face if she knew we had filmed in her precious marine science building. Another one for you, sir! <laughs> I didn't think that was... What the hell was that? <laughs> what? The, the whole thing made no sense. The part where I'm walking on the beach with the weird music playing? What is this, some kind of Victoria's Secret ad? What? It's, I mean, compositionally, it made no sense. The fact that you're the main character, but you only show up for two seconds, the rest of it is me just walking around the park. But... Well, you see... 
No, 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 and apparently plot isn't a requirement of this movie either. I mean, who needs a story that you can easily follow when you can just have people walking around park benches? I thought you said you wanted a movie with no plot. You said that was cool. It's cool to a point, but you still need to give your audience something to watch. I mean, your editing skills are fine. Your, your filming is okay. It's just, you, you, never, you never put it together. You, you need, if you don't know where you're going, your audience isn't going to know where you're going. I guess you're right. Damn right I'm right. A movie that bad should be illegal. Wave that right to ask a fairly obvious question. Go ahead. What the hell is going on? You're under arrest. Well, I guess I kind of caught that from the generally unpleasant greeting. You think this is all just a joke, huh? But this is no laughing matter. You're coming with me. Are you allowed to just point a gun at my face like that? I'm, I'm technically unarmed, you know. I don't know that. Well, maybe I do. But don't worry, you'll have plenty of time to defend yourself. I assume I can speak to my attorney? <laughs> don't make me laugh. Come on, punk, you're coming with me. You might want to... Okay. I don't, I don't really have much of a choice in this door. Officer. How dare you ask me that? I work for Yukon Avery Point, and if anyone's going to be asking the questions around here, it's me. Okay, ask away. Where were you on the date of yesterday? I don't know. Why is that important? Answer the question, and I'll know if you're lying. Well, I'm sure you will. Uh, I was I was on campus. Aha! So you admit it. I was on campus having lunch with a friend at Finn's Cafe. It's a public eatery. Anyone can go there. I know what it is. You're lying. I want to see your receipt. I, I would I would get it for you, but I kind of can't get to it. What did you have for lunch? I don't know. How is this important? Aha! So you can't answer! Pizza and fries. Is that so illegal? You're so funny, Mr. Gaines. So fucking funny. Well, guess what? You have a subpoena to appear before Avery Point Court. The Dean, Curtis Henderson, will decide your fate. My fate? Are you deaf? Yes! Unless you'd like to appear in Superior Court, that could be arranged. But as it stands, you're accused of seven counts of trespassing, influencing an accomplice, disturbing the peace, mockery of the public authority, and theft. Theft? Let me finish! A count of aggravated assault. Assault? And defying a written order. Now, luckily for you, there's no jail time since this is a first-time offense and at the university level. However, there is a fine of 35000 and 300 hours of community service. Are you fucking kidding me? On what grounds are you accusing me? I'm not kidding you. And I'll ask you to use a civil tone with me. The university has entrusted me to bring you to justice. Your reign of bullshit ends here, Bobby oh. Productions. Can't believe you're still holding a grudge from two years ago. This is what this is about. I completely forgot, but it appears to me that you are the one who hasn't let it go. So what's the deal here? The way I see it, you have two options. You appear in trial before Mr. Henderson and explain your case. Somehow reason your way out of it, which is unlikely. Then forfeit your 35000 not to mention court fees. Or... Or... I've arranged a personal settlement. All you have to do is serve as 40 hours community service at Avery Point, mostly doing some housekeeping for yours truly. And, oh, one more thing. Delete all your movies. What? What? Basically, you sign here. 
absolving all of your charges. In exchange, the defendant agrees to cease all filmmaking, past, present, and future, removing all current and past work from the internet. To make sure you're honest about it, I myself will oversee things and make sure not another trace of you appears on YouTube or any public forum. You are fucking insane! And you are insulting a police officer and only furthering the charges against you, Mr. Gaines. This is bullshit. You can't use YouTube as collateral in a lawsuit. Would you rather pay the 35000 that you clearly don't have? Obviously the smart thing to do is settle out in court. They're just some silly movies, right? Like you said, leave it in the past. Forget about it. What do you say? Go to hell! What? Go to hell! This isn't even about the movies anymore. You're insulting me and defaming my character. I didn't steal anything, and I sure as hell didn't assault anyone. Oh, I should probably mention something else. This legally binding contract you signed back in 2008 bars you from any filming activities on campus. I'm sure I need to remind you. So anyway, if you weren't stealing or not fighting, what were you doing, Mr. Gaines? I plead the fifth. I thought so. Fuck. Do what you want. If you go to court, though, you're going down. I've got plenty of evidence on you. I want to see it. What? The evidence. I want to see what this evidence is that you have against me. Legally, I don't have to show you anything. Besides that, you didn't do anything wrong, no? So then what's the big deal? I have the right to an attorney, is that right? <laughs> sure, but who the hell is going to represent some juvenile for breaking and entering and win? Do what you want, Bobby, but you're only prolonging the inevitable. If you go to court and lose, you'll probably still have to surrender all your movies. I don't have to take this. I'll see you in court. And one more thing. You mind undoing these? I got problems, man. Well, apparently I have problems of my own. Yeah, yeah, whatever. That's just great. I'm so mad right now. You just had to have me make movies again. You couldn't leave well enough alone. What's the big deal? You want to know what the problem is? You want to know? You want to know what the problem is? What? The problem is the police want me dead. Officer Kira was trying to charge me with a bunch of crap. All because Charlie and I filmed at Avery Point. Well, I don't think murdering me is going to help. No shit, it's not gonna help. What were you doing at Avery Point, anyways? Man, I don't know. This whole thing is so stupid. I knew I should have gotten out of the movie business. So what are you gonna do now? I don't know. This is so dumb. I gotta appear before the dean of Avery Point Court, and I gotta plead my case or some stuff like that. So you think you're gonna win? Man, I have no idea. Kira supposedly has some evidence, but she refuses to show it. Now I've gotta, I've gotta call her bluff. But before I can do that, I, I need to find a lawyer. So you said you needed an attorney. Gone about as well as I saw it go. Hey, what's up? Not much. Did I uh, miss anything? Well, some douchebag called me. Is that it? Yeah, that's about it. Cool. Yeah, okay. Well, thanks anyway. I'm never gonna find an attorney at this rate. Huh? Now what? What? Why? Just do Just it. Do it. <sighs> okay. Expecting Johnny Cochran, maybe. I don't want to talk to you. Look, do you want my help or not? Why are you even trying to help me? Well, perhaps you don't realize this, but in addition to being a shady businessman, I'm also an excellent attorney. You're you're kidding. Why do you think ZTech never got in any legal trouble? I was our legal representative as well as our CEO. Talk about your double major. Right. My point is. You need a lawyer, and I need a second shot. 
Second shot? Second shot at what? Redemption. Redemption. I fucked up two years ago. I made a lot of mistakes. We, we all have. So then where have you been all this time? Uh, here and there. The, the point is, I never really thought I'd have a chance to redeem myself after everything that happened. But if you give me this chance, I promise to defend you until the very end. We can stop Kira, and we can save Bobby Productions. Just gotta trust me. I don't know about this. It's either me or no one. You got a deal. Officer Kira? You serious? Yeah, and she's actually going after me for this shit. She thinks we were really fighting and really stealing. Well, that's just ridiculous. Yeah, I know, but you could testify for me, right? I mean, you know what was really happening. Um, yeah, I would right now, but I'm kind of in Arizona. What? Yeah. Spring break ended yesterday. Uh, but what about the... Are you serious? Oh, right, forget the movie for now. Well, I, I found an attorney, and I, I, I'm hoping I can win this case. I don't know, man. Hey, I gotta go. Okay, see you later. I couldn't believe, even with everything going on, that I was still thinking about this movie. Uh, now what? Thank you for calling Aztec Parts and more. We sell parts. And more. How can I help you? I don't know how I get myself into this shit.